So how we can guarantee that Muhammad himself is not the shaitan? No, because uh, he did, uh, shaitan did that, uh, he threw, he didn't clone anybody. He just threw the voice, threw the message. No, Muhammad, from, no, from no, no. Muhammad, he said, shaitan, explanation of this verse, uh, shaitan, his name is Abiyad. He came to me in the image of Jibreel and he gave me those verses. Yeah, so never did he send a messenger or a prophet before you, but he recited the revelation, narrated or mm. spoken. Mm. Satan threw some falsehood in it. Yeah, so? Yeah, see, Satan, he just threw falsehood in what he was reciting. Yeah, but how he threw? So he didn't how, take, how, so Satan how, didn't how, take any How, how Muhammad it. convinced, because you know, all you, you Muslim, you, you, you always you say that Muhammad, he don't receive something in his head. He meet the angel, and the angel give him Quran. Correct. Correct. All right. So, the, so yeah, in order for Muhammad to receive, slave. in order for Muhammad to receive those verses, he have to meet the angel in person as usual. Correct. All right. How the shaitan he came? Muhammad he confirmed. He says shaitan. His name is Al Abiyad. He came to Muhammad. And he is the one who gave him the satanic verses. Correct. That, that's what happens. All right. See, so now, satanic now we have two angels. One, his name is Jibreel. And one is Shaitan. Both, they look the same. Correct? Yeah, but doesn't give uh, Jibreel come back again to... Uh, how we to know that the, the one who came that back... Didn't give how we this. know that the one who came back is not the same Shaitan? They look the same. Because he advises him and tells him, no, like, why did you speak those words? I didn't no, give you he, those he, words. He, he, he he, see, this is, this is actually additional proof that Muhammad is a satanic man. Because if the angel came to him right away before he do it, don't the angels is watching? Isn't that the angel watching? Isn't it Allah watching what is shaitan is doing? Why he waited until shaitan? He took the image of Jibreel. He come to Muhammad. He delivered the verses. And then two weeks, three weeks after, Angel, he come to him. He says, "Muhammad, what you did? This is not me who spoke to you. Shouldn't he right away says to him, this is not me?'" It's probably it's uh, Allah's test for us. So Allah, He tests so you by sending Allah, He tests you by making Muhammad receiving Quran from Shaitan. And he sends Gabriel after that to uh, abolish that also, right? He sends what? He sends Gabriel. How you know that. it's Jibreel? Now we know we cannot trust Jibreel because now Jibreel it can be uh, the same Shaitan. Maybe maybe the Shaitan killed Jibreel. We don't know. Maybe Jibreel now is in jail. Maybe Shaitan he trapped him somewhere. So where was Jibreel when Shaitan came to Muhammad and he took his look? Isn't you Muslim believe that angel is always a company, even normal Muslims? Correct? Correct. Okay. Now, we this is Muhammad. Do Muhammad have an angel? His name is Jibreel. Accompany him or not? Yeah, but every Muslim, we believe that we have a Satan also with us. No, There is a Satan on our left shoulder and a, a, Saita and a, a good angel on our right shoulder. So both of them are doing uh, controlling his mind at the same time, probably. No, this is not about controlling mind. This is about a physical, oh, a physical person, oh. a physical person. He come to the in, in the image of Jibreel to Muhammad, and he spoke to him in the look of an angel. It's not in the mind; it is physical. Yeah, but the verse doesn't say that, CP. It says... Uh, no, that the verse actually... Look, okay, just truth. to show you that the verse doesn't make any sense anyway. Why? Look, read with me carefully. It says, Never we send a messenger or a prophet before you, but when he recite revelation or narrated or spoke, hmm? this is additional from the uh, translator, Shaitan, he throws some falsehood in the recitation. Correct? Correct. All right. So now the recitation of the shaitan is where is mixed with from, uh, from the, the prophet's tongue. No, 
he recited already Quran is always recitation is not a book is not written yet so the the Quran of shaitan is mixed with the Quran of Allah correct Uh, the words, those words alone. It doesn't matter. Those, the Quran, Quran is words too. The Quran is words. Isn't the Quran is words? So the words of yes, shaitan. Those verses, I mean. Those, huh? Those particular verses, I mean. Yeah. So the that particular verses. Okay. Of, uh, so the satanic Allah verses, the satanic verses now is inserted by the mouth of Muhammad with Allah verses. Do we agree? Correct. Okay. And then Allah will delete them. Correct. Correct. All right. How we can guarantee that this verse itself is not coming from shaitan to make us relax? Because now people, they discover that Muhammad is a fraud. What happened when Muhammad recited those verses, he started bowing down to the gods of the pagans. Not only he recited them, he said, Those are the three daughters of Allah, the high, their intercession, to Allah is required and he bowed down and all the pagans bowed down with him so not only he recited by mouth he physically bowed down to the idols the Arab then they say that here we go Muhammad is a liar he claimed he will not pray to anyone except his God Allah now he is praying to Allah our God and his daughters Muhammad after that he noticed many people they start leaving Islam because they exposed he was exposed so now he made a verse saying that Allah told me that the one who gave me this is shaitan. It's not me. I was a victim. He came to me in the look of a shaitan. His name is Al-Abiyad. And now, how we can guarantee that this verse itself is not made by the same shaitan to make us relax? Because look what the verse is saying. Not a single prophet before you, but shaitan, he gave him false revelation. Name one for me. Shaitan gave him false revelation. Mm. Shaitan gave who false revelation? According Apart to the verse, Muhammad, according to the verse, yeah. every prophet before Muhammad, he received satanic verses. Name one prophet he received satanic verses. Probably it must be uh, who was that guy? You mean for prophets from uh, in the mentioned in the Quran or in any the prophet, if you wish. I don't know. You can tell me even Trump. I don't care. A, a, a person you 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 consider him as a prophet. This is story never happened to anyone. This is only for Muhammad. He saved satanic verses. He recited them. He said them, and then he waited a few weeks. And then uh, uh, where was Jibril all this time? And uh, you know, and don't you Muslim you say no one can make Quran save Allah? Correct. Okay, how Muhammad did not notice that this is gonna be from Allah. If the Quran is and something is unique, if, if the Quran is uh, uh, according to the false uh, uh, claim of the Muslims, it is unique, amazing, so beautiful, and nobody can write like it. Isn't it the Quran says that he challenged the human? And the genie, and shaitan is a genie, as you know, to make Quran like this, but they cannot. Yeah, he's talking about the entire Quran, not just one. No, one no, no. He said surah. We do not know how how big what Muhammad he will receive. This is the Muslim stories. So if I can make a sentence like Allah, then I can make a surah because surahs is many sentences. I will make more one sentence, one more sentence, one more sentence. I have a surah. So can we write the same as the Quran of Allah? Obviously, shaitan can do easy. As you see here, shaitan, he gave Muhammad satanic verses. Did Muhammad notice that this is not from Allah? At least because it's different. Yeah, way. But, yeah, because Gabriel came back and told him that it is not from exactly. Allah. Exactly. So, so Muhammad did not notice from. himself. How Muhammad did not notice right. that what he said is wrong? Yeah, because he's only revealing God's word. No, 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 just wait, people. wait, wait. What do you mean revealing God? This guy, he keeps saying we worship Allah only, we worship Allah only, we worship Allah only, and now he is saying the daughters of Allah is true and we have to intercede through them. 
So he did not notice that this is a total contradiction for what he said before. So now I, I say to the Christian here, we need to worship Jesus. Only Jesus can save us. Only Jesus can help us. Only Jesus can take us to heaven. Only Jesus can can forgive our sin. And then second day I say, oh, forgive, you know, follow, uh, follow uh, 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 a priest or a bishop. He can forgive us. No, this is a contradiction. Either only Allah, and then you call yourself, as you claim, monotheist, or you accept that the daughters of Allah are true and you worship them and you ask them for intercession. So let us say Jibreel never show up. Shouldn't Muhammad in you that this is really totally the opposite of what he said? If I say something to you, like sometime we speak, you know, like because we are focusing on something and then maybe I will mention the wrong name. I will say, I want to say Prophet Isaiah. I say Prophet, uh, let us say, uh, you know, I say uh, Elijah, you know. By mistake, this is, can be acceptable. But here we are talking about destroying all the belief, all the practice, turning one, 180 degree and worshipping the three daughters of Allah. And then I did not notice until Jibreel come to me and say, this is not right. Where was the mind of Muhammad? Was he monotheist all the time or sometime? Yeah, but, but worshipping is not mentioned in the Quran, isn't it? It's just only mentioned that he threw some falsehood, but it doesn't mention... Okay, that hold on. Down and no, it's mentioned in the interpretation. If you go in the interpretation, it says that he recite... He, they, the Muslim, they have even the verses which is given by the Quran. What Muhammad said exactly, they have it, the Muslim, they have it. He said the intercession of the daughters of Allah, Sharaniq al Ula. So when the Quran, when, when Muhammad he mentioned that, the Arab they copy it, the Muslim they copy it, and then it's spread all over. And then this is why Muhammad later he, he found himself, he got busted. So he decided to fix it. He was trying to be hypocrite with the Arab, make them follow him just to accept him. But when he thought no no believers are there and nobody will know it, what, what he just did. But when the news is spread, Muhammad, he decided to say, oh, this is shaitan, he gave it to me, don't blame me. Allah will take it off. But how come Muhammad did not notice that shaitan, he gave him such a thing? No, it's probably that, probably that means that uh, shaitan must have come in the form of Muhammad and done all this. Okay, so now so what we, in conclusion, Shaitan, he come in the form of Angel Jibreel. He spoke to Muhammad, gave him satanic verses. Muhammad, he take them blindly, even though he is worshipping three daughters of Allah. Muhammad, he go home. Still, he did not notice what he did. Muhammad, he stayed there for a week, two weeks, three weeks. And then Angel Jibreel sent by Allah to tell Muhammad, this is not right. So all this time, the believer, disbelievers, they believe in Muhammad gods, which is the three daughters of Allah. And Muhammad himself did not notice that this is from shaitan. Did not notice. You're correct. Same, same like the Christians, you know, for 600 years, you are worshipping uh, a god, which is a man. Okay. Same like that. Now, but you see, years, we don't have, we don't have. Saying, okay, oh. hold on, hold on. You cannot compare because we don't believe that shaitan, he gave satanic verses to Jesus. And even your Quran, 600 years after, confirm our book, says this is a true book. So if we believe in a man and the Quran confirm that the book between our hand is a true book, is, is that correct? Yeah, but when you, which book are you talking about? It says the one is with the us. Book, but the one is with book. us. The one is with us. You yeah, said, which book? You said, with, you said, for, with, you, you said, you said a second ago, for 600 years, for 600 years, you Christian worship a man, correct? Correct. So you are counting the 600 years of until Muhammad came, correct? Correct. But when Muhammad came, he confirmed the book with us. Chapter 2, verse number 89. When they are come to them, to the Jews and to the Christians, the book of the Quran, confirming what is with them, the Torah and the Injil. Confirming it, not denying it. What is with them? Do you see it? Yeah, I see this. Okay, but, so the Quran, 600 the... years 
actually the translation is false in Arabic it says musaddiqun lima ma'ahum which mean believing in what is with them not just confirming there's a huge difference between confirming and believing so Muhammad is coming as a believer in the Torah believer in the Injil which is with us not with him correct so how that can be corrupt and this is the book after Jesus 600 years after the Christian believe that Jesus is God the Quran confirming the book is with us but but the but the Quran says that Jesus was taken up to heaven directly. That is a contradiction. He was not that doesn't matter. Jesus, we believe that Jesus is in heaven anyway. So, where is Muhammad now? Muhammad is waiting to be resurrected. Oh, so he's dead. It's not dead as such. It's like he's, he's dead. You, are, you just said he is waiting to be resurrected. What does that mean? He is waiting to be resurrected. That's mean he is dead. Correct? No, he's in a state of sleep. You can say that. Oh, so now dead is asleep now. Yeah, because time doesn't matter for that. Uh, when one person dies, then time doesn't matter anymore for them. So when they uh, wake so up, so when I die, I will be sleep. When I die, I will be sleeping too. Yes, you will sleep for till the day of resurrection. You will sleep, uh, and once the resurrection comes, okay. you will. It will be like okay, listen, died listen. yesterday, well, uh, even though you slept for maybe. Thousands, okay, listen. Thousands, I, I have thousands, a very simple years. question for you. You are a prophet in the okay. hadith. He said that when you pray, pray every Friday, for your prayer will be supplicated to me. Why the prayer of the Muslim will be supplicated to Muhammad? Is he God? No, it's not like that. It's a uh, like how you have the same thing in the in the saints for in the Bible you have you supplicate your prayers to the saints and they take it to God no like that. Well, but no, first of all, we do not we do not need. Uh, well, we ask the saint to pray for us. We are not no no listen yeah. no 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 no. You see, and I actually me myself I never do that because I pray to the Jesus right away. Why I want to ask the saint to pray for? Me? But I ask here the brothers sisters all the time pray for me pray for this person. This is because we are brothers and sisters and families. We are asking each other to pray for each other. We believe in the power of the prayer. But the, the, we don't supplement, supplement our prayer to saint. We pray to God. Now here, all the prayer of the Muslim will be submitted to Muhammad, but yet he's dead. Yeah, this is the same thing which is happening in Christianity also. No, no, no. To do, you, Anthony, do you submit your Saint. prayer to Allah or to Muhammad as a Muslim? We submit a prayer to Allah. Okay, the hadith says it is going is all true. your prayer, not a blessing. The Muslim they falsely translate the word prayer as a blessing. Submit it to me. Then the Muslim they say to him, the companion, but you will be dead and your body will decay. He said that we the Prophet, our bodies don't decay. Yeah, we, because they're going to they're going to uh, uh, sleep, you know, but I don't know why they're using the word body here, but so why uh, Ibn Abbas he said bury your friend, meaning Muhammad, because his body stink. He said yes, and kama yes, and bashar. Bury your friend; he stink as all human they stink. So Muhammad is a fraud. He claimed that his body will not decay. They did not bury him for three days. They were hoping that he will be the same as Jesus. He will be resurrected to heaven. So they waited three days exactly. Then he stink badly and his belly became full of fart. Ibn Abbas says, he said, His belly became so full of fart and his fingers, they shrink like they grab. You know, when the person, his body is trying to start to decay, his feet, they will look different. His fingers will look different. So when Ibn Abbas, he said that this is what's happening to Muhammad, isn't it? This is a proof that Muhammad is a false prophet who he claimed that his body will not decay. No, probably they understood it wrong because I, from what you see, it actually... What do you mean I understood it wrong? It says, it says that... His belly became big from fart from gas. When you die, 
there is some food in your uh, in your uh, stomach always no matter how how maybe you just went to the bathroom still there is some food still left so when you die that food will be digested by the bacteria and then you will have gas and because now you aren't alive the gas will not go out normally people fart so what happened your belly will become bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and then when there's no more space for gas naturally the body will push because there's no more space will be pushed out of the the, the gas will find a release through the anus and will go out so this is what happened to your prophet but your prophet he said that he will not his body will not decay if you want me to show you the reference i can show you as many references no, as you wish he didn't say that huh the the hadith, the hadith says that what? Uh, they're asking him that question the people are asking him the question um, how can how can our blessings be submitted to you when your body has decayed that's what the people are asking him a question yeah but uh, but the prophet says that allah has prohibited the earth from consuming the bodies of the prophet he, he hasn't mentioned anything about decay only just about consuming no he the says consuming body. they are asking about decay he said cannot consume it which means decay my friend, no, no, this is my, my, this friend my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend. You are reading a translation, and this is your Muslim translation. What was the question? Is how we can do that when your body will decay? He says, Correct. Allah forbid the earth from consuming the bodies. How the earth consuming the bodies decay? You became dust. So don't tell me it doesn't say decay. You will not look good with it. Anyone who is watching, he knew that now you are not being honest with me. It's about him being DK. Actually, in some hadith says that when Muhammad he died in less than a day and a night, not three days, a day and one night, which means 24 hours, the day is daytime, the night is nighttime. So in less than 24 hours, Muhammad, his belly was full of fart and he changed. The skin changed, the look changed, everything of him changed. Yeah. So, 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 CB, this, this uh, portion which you're discussing here, is this I see, uh, yes, there are certain things which don't make sense here in this hadith. But, you know, uh, if you look at the, say, the what, what the context is basically is like, uh, how Christians you pray to saints? Something we don't. We don't like answer that. about this. Don't repeat that. Don't repeat the same. We don't pray to saints. Saints are like us. No, I are, think some no of my, my friends, friends, saints themselves, they ask God for forgiveness. So when we say saints, they are we are talking about the best of us, who they are. They give their life to to God, serving people. But it doesn't mean they are not sinners. All of us, we are sinners. The Bible says it clearly: all mankind are sinners. Nobody. Correct. No exception. Correct. So don't let us not to you know, see. We so we, we are going from a place to place, and everything shows us that Muhammad is mentally ill and he's a liar. Let me ask you, Shaitan, he appeared to Muhammad and he gave him satanic verses, correct? Correct. In the image of Jibreel, correct? Uh that doesn't mention the in the Quran. It just says he threw in the no in, in the, the hadith. In the... Your prophet says that Shaitan is Mihul Abiyad Atani. He explained why. You can go and read the interpretation which, of the which verse. Which hadith is that? Read the interpretation. Shaitan, his name is Al Abiyad. He came to me. Go to Al Razi as an example. If we go to Al Razi right now, we will see the interpretation says that Shaitan, his his name is Al Abiyad. He came to me, and in in the image of Jibril. Do you want me to show you the reference? Yes, please. All right. Let me find it. And look like in Islam, everybody clone everybody. Because Jibreel himself, he cloned someone. His name is Dahil Kalbi. So now we have two Dahil Kalbi. Which is very weird. Yeah, that's because Jibreel came in a human form, isn't it? Doesn't matter. Well, here we go. So now... Shaitan, he come in the image of Dahil Kalbi or in the image of Jibreel, the same Jibreel as we know. Doesn't matter. Everybody can clone everybody. How we can trust anything? 
Let us see. All right, let's show one by one here. This is, I'm going to show you now the official government of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia website. I, I, can, I think I cannot, be, I cannot be better than this, right? This is official government of Saudi Arabia. This is the chapter of Al-Hajj. Verse number 52. And this is Tafsir Al-Qurtubi. And you are a Muslim Sunni, correct? Correct. All right. So Muslim Sunni, all of them, they accept Al Qur to be highly respected, big, big, big name scholar for the Muslims. Here it says, let us go down. I don't know how much you know Arabic, but you can, I will give you the, the page. You can use Google Translation. And Ibn Abbas, uh, he said, Inna shaytanan yuqalu lahu al abyad. كان قد أتى رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم في سورة جبريل عليه السلام وألقى في قراءة النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم تلك الغرانيق العلا إن شفاعتهن لا ترتجى. Let us use Google Translation. All right. And this is how you can find it. Yeah. You like you go almost to the middle of the page or at the end. You can search maybe for when you use Google Translation. Let me post the link for everybody. Uh, I will post it in the chat so everybody can open with me and use Google Translation from your side. Open, you open the page. Hold on. Open the page in Google browser if you want to use Google Translation because Google Translation work only in Google browser. Be careful. So now right. we will use Google. Click in front of your eyes. You see my screen, right? Yes. Okay. Translate to English. Here we go. And now the, the page is so long, so I'm going to search for the word white in English. Maybe I can find it easier this way. White. Um, it's not coming. It shows zero. Here it says Shaitan he throw uh, in in etc. Uh, but let us go down see if we can find it. Shaitan uh, through his Abu, wish. Abu Bakr bin Abdul Rahman ibn etc. Al Harith al Hashim he said the Messenger of Allah, Allah pray on him and salute him. When he said the star, it, when the star it fall, when he reached, to, do you see Allah and Al-Uzza and Manat and the other third? He said their inter intercession is hoped for, so he's worshiping the theaters of Allah. So the polytheist met, they like it like that, and those who have their heart disease, they like it. So now Allah is blaming you for believing in the Quran. <laughs> and then, uh, uh, the uh, Allah uh, sent the angel Jibreel and he told him this is from Shaitan but let's go down uh, where it says that Shaitan he took the image of Jibreel yeah but it mentions the sea so the polytheists met him yeah, so all they are worshipping now the same God because the, the polytheist, my friend, your prophet is a polytheist. You Muslim are polytheist. You never worship one God anyway. And I can prove it. But let's finish this one first. So as you see, your prophet, he mentioned the three years of Allah and he said their intercession is a must and he bow down and they bow down with him. <coughs> but what make it more horrible, where it says that shaitan, let us see if we can find it. The problem is appearing here in 331 time. Uh, so we need to find <laughs> let us see uh, 
maybe if we search for Gabriel, we can find it in the page. Let us do that. Because the word Shaitan appeared 31 times. We want to find the part where Shaitan. Okay, here we go. Uh, so. I never saw uh, the, the prophet here. He mentioned uh, the Uzza and he worshipped them. Okay. And then he bowed down. Yeah. And then Allah, he sent down uh, Jibreel. Okay. Until now, I'm, I'm, I'm able to find where in the English translation. Let us use the word image. Maybe that will help. Image. Zero translation. I don't know why the, the translation is not showing. Uh, I search for the word image. It shows only. Let us see. Uh, type word picture. Maybe Satan sitting on your mouth. Uh, maybe in your nose, because Shaitan, according to your prophet, he <laughs> sleep in your nose. He sleep in your nose. He piss in your ears, which is makes sense. Uh, but no, actually, we can do this uh, either way. And you know, like I'm showing an official website, and this is live. Uh, if I'm lying, people will laugh at me. Correct. Uh, so here, correct. if we go here, I can do this actually. I will go here and I will copy without translation the whole page because the whole page is so long. Uh, I will copy and paste in Google translation, just the part we want. Correct. All right, let us open Google translation, Google translation. All right. I will copy in the front of your eyes. Do you see my screen? Yeah, I see. It, but there's right. a, there looks like there's a delay because uh, after you, at the moment, what I see is now only a, just highlighting one word. One word, exactly. I will hide now, highlight a whole sentence to the end until there's a dot, which means the end of the conversation. So I will copy from here. Okay. وَقَدْ قَالَ إِبْنُ عَبَّاسِ And Ibn Abbas, he said that a shaitan, his name is Al-Abiyat, he came to the Prophet in the image of Jibreel, peace be upon him, and he gave the Prophet the those verses that the, 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 the high shrine or the high daughters of Allah, their their intercession is a must. I will copy in front of your eyes. I will move to Google Translation. Here we go. Google Translation. In the front of your eyes too. Translate from Arabic to English. Ibn Abbas, he said, the devil called Al-Abiyad. He came to the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, in the form of Jibreel. Do you see it? No, it's still Arabic. Yet. Okay, uh, no. In the form I mean, of Jibreel. <clears throat> you see it? And actually, maybe now... Yeah, Ibn Abbas said a devil came. It says Ibn Abbas said a devil called Al-Abiyad. Abiyad. Al -Abiyad. Abiyat is, is white, right? right yeah, Abiyat, right. the white. Yeah. This is why he believed him because uh, because God he said. is because he made him look white because Muslim they worship white color. So now actually we can yeah, find it. Satan deceiving him, isn't it? It doesn't matter. But this is now that's this mean that Shaitan, he can take the look of anybody. And how we can trust that uh, Jibreel, Jibreel? How we can trust that Muhammad is Muhammad? How we can trust that Isa is Isa? How we can trust anybody because shaitan he can come to me now in the image of anyone and he can give me verses claiming to be from god even if i am a prophet how we can trust that muhammad is not killed by shaitan and the one is there now is is shaitan as you see shaitan he took the image of david shaitan in islam he took the image of david he started having sex with his wife, correct? You mean uh, Solomon? Solomon, yeah. So Shaitan, he took the image of Solomon before. So we have a previous proof 
according to Muslims, that shaitan he can take even the image not only of an angel, even a prophet of God. What if shaitan he killed Solomon? He can kill him. Why not? Solomon now is weak. He don't have an army. He don't have the ring. He don't have a sword. Shaitan kill him. And now he became Solomon. And he stays Solomon forever. How we know that the one who came to your prophet now, who you must have claimed that this is but Jibreel, Allah, but Allah will not is not Shaitan. No? Yeah, but uh, Allah will not allow that. Here we he go. Will, uh, it's allowed. You see, you see, you Muslims are really, you see the hypocrisy, my friend. You say Allah will not allow it. It's allowed. As you see, Shaitan, he came in the image of Jibreel. How more than this? No, what I mean is like a, my See, friend, he, is it easier? Is it easier? Allowed... Is it easier to take a form of a human or a form of a form of, of angel? Which one is hard? Obviously, the shaitan he, take, he can take form of anything he wants. Correct. So how we can guarantee yeah, now? How we can guarantee now that Muhammad, all his statement are not coming from the shaitan who took the form of Jibril. How we can guarantee that the verse itself, the one it says Allah will delete what shaitan he throw, is not from shaitan himself, so make you relax, because now Muhammad gets exposed. Yeah, but there is, there, but the, this is only one portion which has happened and uh, where... Doesn't uh, matter, no, all, uh, we, can prove, we can prove that all the Quran from shaitan, let, let me ask you, who is the one who deceived people, shaitan or God? Shaitan. If, what if I show you that Allah is the one he deceived, not, shay, not shaitan? Allah is the one he deceived. No, that cannot be. Okay. What the word deceive in Arabic, do you know? You tell? Uh, not sure. Yeah, not the, sure. the Quran says that shaitan, he make you, he deceive you, correct? You tell. You tell. Hmm? This is the word. Yeah. Here we go. ويريد الشيطان أن يضلهم ضلالا بعيدا. This is the word you tell. You see it? He will go in front of you. All right. Yeah. But the verse after it, this is chapter 4, verse number 60. Chapter 4, verse number 60, it says, The one who will deceive you is shaitan. And I'm going to zoom in the word again so you can see it. The same chapter saying that the one who deceives is Allah. Chapter 4, verse number 88. It says, can you put this in English so I can see it? Yeah, in, our, in English. Here we go. I'm showing you your English translation, your Muslim translation, not mine. Allah, he said to Muhammad, are you going to try to guide the hypocrite? Allah has Good cast them. Hold on. Who is the one who cast them in disbelief? Allah. And then he can continue saying, because of what they earned, okay, what they earned, you are the one who cast them. Do you want to guide him who had Allah had made him go astray? What does astray mean in English? Uh, go away from the straight path. Exactly. Who is the one who make, made them go away from the straight path? Uh, God has done this. Allah. Same thing. This is the same thing in Christianity also. No, no. Jesus, yeah, no, yeah, in Christianity, for, example, for God, he loved the, the world. No, for God, he loved the world. God, the Father, he sent his only begotten son to help us, to guide us, not to deceive us, to save us. That's why we call him the Savior. Your religion says Correct. that the one who cast the one who disbelieve out is Allah, the verse in front of you. Yeah, but but in the in the, in the gospel also in the book of uh, I think one of the my friend you do not know your book. religion how you want to teach me my religion. how you want to teach me my book do you know your book here we go you are in this ability no I'm talking about no similar, I'm telling you we don't have any I'm Christianity you know we don't have such a thing God God is our Father that's why we pray for him we say, we call him our Father our Father in heaven why because he love us is not the one who deceive us so here. Who is the one who made somebody disbelieve? I ask you, who is the one who made people disbelieve? You said Shaitan. Correct? You agreed. Didn't you agree? Yes. You said Shaitan? Yes. Okay. Now read with me. Who is the one who cast people in disbelief? Allah. 
No, uh, see, the thing here, the point, there's a point here in this. It says, do you want to guide him whom Allah had made to go astray? Okay. So this is the same similarity which you have in Christianity also, which says that only God has already chosen. Whoever is going to go to heaven is already chosen. No, my friend, this is not you about... Don't no, no, no. You, right you, to... Don't explain my book for me. Don't explain my book for me. When God, he says, he's a chosen people, he said... Come to me, knock at my door, I will open for you. The chosen one is the one who they come willingly, not him forcing them. Come to me, knock at my door, and I will open for you. Jesus said, whoever believe in me and I will live. So you believe those are the chosen ones. So the chosen one who chose me, not only I choose them. I, I don't have so the verses. It's ready not up to you. I know the verses, you, my friend. This is my this is my Lord. I will send you. This is my, send don't you send me. You don't need to verses. send me. I know what I'm talking about. So... I choose them for they choose me. Whoever believe in me, Jesus said, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who do his will. So those I choose is the one who chose me. Those who I choose is the one who choose to follow me. Those who I choose, which means my choice is their choice. It's willingly. So in Islam, no. In Islam here, and there we are talking about guidance, not the opposite. Here we are talking about the one who went in disbelief. Why they are in disbelief? Because Allah made them disbelievers. Not shaitan. So Allah is shaitan. Why those people they are hypocrite? Allah made them hypocrite. Why people lie? Because Allah made them lie. When you do fornication, is that a choice you do or Allah forced you to do fornication? It's a choice you make. I'm asking you, when you do fornication, if somebody, I'm not trying to insult you, but I'm just conversation. If a human being do fornicate, do he choose to do fornication or Allah force him to fornicate? No, it's the, it's the, it's the sin in a man who forces him to do it. It is Satan. It's not God. It is Satan, not God. Are you sure? No, every everybody has that sinful nature in them. So no, no, no. This is not a question. I wanna, it, let's make, make it simple. Who is the one okay. who try to make you fornicate? Is it Allah or Shaitan? Neither. Neither. It's not Allah. It's not Satan. Yeah, neither. It's okay. the sinful nature of a human being which makes you do that. But isn't it sin from Shaitan? It is. Yeah, sin is from Satan. Of okay, is fornication sin in Islam? Yes, of course it is. Okay, so, uh, so fornication is from Shaitan then, correct? Fornication is from Shaitan, yes. All right. But your prophet says, no, it's from Allah. And read with me. He does? Your prophet says, it is from Allah. Here we go, and this is Sahih Hadith. Yeah, but our prophet also told the people Don't not tell to me write also, down A second ago you said to me, it's from Shaitan, and you agreed. And now this Hadith says, read carefully. Read. I'm listening. Yeah, you know, Sita, I have raised this in my mosque. Can you my, read my friend? Uh, okay, Sheikh just read here, and he me. told me. My friend, don't tell me what. Read it first and tell me what, what Sheikh told you. Go ahead. Yeah, I, I know this one. I have raised this one with the Sheikh. And they, what they told so me. So, why you don't want to tell it? Why you don't want to read, uh, read it? Does it say. Okay. Really, Allah has okay. uh, fixed the very portion of adultery which a man will indulge in. Hmm. And which he of necessity must commit. Hmm. The adultery of the eye is a lustful look, and the adultery of the tongue is a licentious speech. The heart desires and earns, which the part may not be put into effect. All right. Now tell me what your Sheikh said about it. Go ahead. But he said that, you know, the, there are a lot of uh, people who were against the Muslims who made all these type of hadiths. Uh, so now, this is what he told okay, me. so now those are hadith made by the one who's against the Muslims. Yes, but well, mainly he said... But who is the one who wrote the book? It's Sahih Muslim. The guy, his name is Muslim. He is the most highest scholar in Islam for hadith. This is yes, very authentic, this is very hadith. authentic hadith, and now you must have claiming that this hadith is written by the enemy of Allah, written by a Christian prince. Yeah, no, no, not you, but uh, this no, me. I am enemy you. of Allah. I don't, I, this uh, Allah is shaitan for me. I I am his enemy. They announce it. 
I don't I don't hide it I'm not a coward so you are saying to me that this is not what your prophet said the sheikh he told you that this is written by the enemy of Allah so you Muslims are the enemy of Allah because you you said to me you are a Muslim Sunni every Muslim Sunni no, not, not all not all the hadith all these hadith which are going against the my prophet, friend this is Sahih Muslim are all okay. Like, uh, uh, okay the Quran written written by who Quran written by, you mean the physical book yeah the book the book I mean the Quran is coming from who from Allah right so a Quran is coming from from uh, Allah Ta'ala all right is the Quran preserved or uh, the, the enemy of Allah they put verses there too Uh, when you say Quran is preserved, what do you, what, you mean the book or you mean the, the Quran, the Quran, Quran, the whole Sabbath. I don't care about the book, the Quran, the recitation of the Quran, the verses of the Quran, whatever, the word of Allah. Is it preserved or not? Yeah, the word of Allah is the word of Allah is eternal. That okay. Nobody can. Does the Quran uh, say is, 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 is sin is a bad thing or a good thing? Uh, sin. Hmm. Is it a bad thing or a good thing? No, sin is a bad thing in any okay. religion. And is, in bad Muslim, things, sin is a bad is thing. Is a bad things happen to you as a destiny from Allah or destiny from Shaitan? No, bad things is no, I'm getting confused here. Sorry. Let me just make this clear. Okay, bad, bad things, things is bad things as a, as a destiny from Allah or destiny from Shaitan. Yeah, but uh, you're talking about the bad things which I do or the bad things which happen doesn't to doesn't matter. Me. Anything happen to you or you do. Because bad things you do to others are bad things happen to others too. So I can go right now, kill somebody. He died. That's a bad thing for him. Maybe it's a good thing for me. But doesn't make any difference for it's a bad thing happening. So bad things is a destiny made by Allah or made by shaitan. Bad things is a destiny made by shaitan. Uh, so why the Quran says bad things is from Allah? It does? Yeah. It says that? Oh, it yeah. That. Oh, yeah. All bad things is from Allah. Chapter Seriously? 64, verse Seriously? number 11. Sorry, which one? Chapter 64? Verse number 11. 64, 11. No calamity befalls, but with the leave of Allah and whoever so believes in Allah, he guides his heart. And the decision of Qadr, Qadr means destiny. No calamity befalls, but with the leave uh, decision no, that's in the bracket, isn't it? Doesn't matter. This is destiny. Do we, do this is the, the destiny. No problem. Ma, ma, can, can you put Mohammed Biktal if you don't mind? Okay, Biktal, no problem. Here we go. We go to Biktal. Let us see Biktal, Muhammad Biktal. Here we go. I feel he's more honest at least. No problem. Here we compared go. to the rest of the translations. Okay. Read it. Still the same, it didn't change yet. Okay, it's changing now. Yeah. No calamity befalls save by Allah's leave. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they're talking about a calamity here. They're not talking about sin, is it? You know, all those are bad, the bad things. But calamity here is musiba. Yeah, any bad thing. Any yeah, calamity I asked you, do you remember I asked you, is, is, is sin is bad thing? You said yes. Yeah, but this is calamity is different from sin. The okay, sin you see, you, 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 you want to, uh, okay, right? you want to say, I don't know, I, I don't know how honest you are, but I will go with you. When somebody, I just showed you, the prophet says, when you do fornicate, Allah, he made decision for you to fornicate. When Adam, he commits sin, did he choose to commit sin against Allah or it was Allah destiny, which is calamity?
Do you hear me? Yes, yes, I'm just uh, okay. contemplating on what you so said. So when 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 you're Adam saying, when Adam, Adam commits, commits sin, sin, Adam Adam, focus with me. Adam commits sin. Yes. Did he commit sin? Yes. As a predestiny calamity from Allah, which is a sin besides for him to do, or he chose to do yes. sin against the will of Allah. Uh, he chose to do the sin, which. Uh, well, which this is taking this is not what your prophet said. You're a prophet, he says that Allah, he made Adam commit sin. And Adam and Moses, they have a debate. Moses, he says to Adam, because of you, we are out of heaven. Adam, sorry, Moses says to, uh, Adam says to Moses, are you blaming me for something written in my fate, in my destiny? 40 years before Allah he created me and this is the hadith which is very authentic from Al-Bukhari what say you yeah this is this is saying something totally different now this is the opposite of what we've seen in the as for the destiny this is Al-Bukhari are you going to tell me now this is written by the, the enemy of Allah too So Moses and uh, Moses and Adam are arguing here, and Moses is telling Adam that you are the father who disappointed us and turned us out of paradise. Mm -hmm. And Adam said to him, "Oh Moses, Allah favored you, and He talked to you, and He gave you the Torah, and He wrote the Torah for you with His own hand. Do you blame me for an action which Allah has written in my fate forty years before my creation?" Mm -hmm. So, so you mean to say that uh, um, Allah has already decided this, that uh, Adam will commit sin? Yeah, this is uh, this uh, this is what destiny. You don't do sin; it's Allah' this decision. All the sin we do, according to Islam, it's a predestiny, and we have to do the predestiny. And this is, as you see, Al Bukhari. Are you going to say now this is written by the enemy of Allah too? This is hard to believe. It's hard to believe. It's stupid, How actually. Can it be? How can... It's stupid because How simply, be like this? because simply, if this is true, then why Allah He want to kick Adam from heaven, and why we are out of heaven, and why we will punish to go to hell, if all our sin it was a predestiny anyway. There's a video why does the of Mufti Mink. Listen, times. listen. Did you watch the video of Mufti Mink? Mean. About this regarding about this and you can search it and watch it. He said, "Oh yeah, that, yeah, yeah, I've seen that one." Okay, yeah. so a, a guy who is a thief, he been taken to the caliphate, and Correct. the caliphate he says, "Today I'm going to punish you for what you did." So the thief he says, yes. "Why you want to punish me for something predestiny for me to do? <clears throat> What's my fault?" The caliphate and Muslim Mink he says, "By the way, this is a good argument," which means he agree with it. The caliphate, he said to him, well, and he said the caliphate will outsmart him. He says, well, it was a predestiny to me now to, to punish you. So everything we do is a predestiny. You steal, it's a predestiny. A predestiny for me to punish you. So Islam is a stupid religion. So why we will go to heaven or to hell if it's all is a predestiny? The one who will go to heaven is a predestiny. The one who will go to hell is a predestiny. So you believe, you don't believe, it doesn't matter. It's a predestiny. My friend, you believe in a fraud. This is a sick, stupid religion. And can you believe it that Moses is a prophet of God? And then this is after supposedly they, they went to heaven, according to Muhammad. And now they are arguing. So Moses, he spent his life, he do not know what destiny is. And now Adam is getting him busted. And then the Muslim, they say that Moses was a Muslim. How he was a Muslim, he believed in the original sin. Original sin is, as a Christian, we believe that because of Adam's sin, we are out of heaven, and because of our sin too. So Moses here looked like he's a Christian more than the Muslims, because he believed yeah, but, in original but, sin. But, but uh, Stevie, we also believe one thing in the in, in as Muslims, we believe one thing also that if if there is a hadith and if it is having a supporting evidence in the Quran, that's when we take that hadith. 
false. Seriously, you this know? is a false argument so, uh, because the hadith says you don't do muta. Is it? No. The hadith says don't do muta. The Quran says you do muta. Which one you take? We have to take the Quran. But you take the hadith. Aren't you a Muslim Sunni? Yes. Okay, Muslim Sunni don't allow muta no more. Because they say in the hadith, the prophet, he forbid it. Because it's abrogated. It's ab abrogated, no? No. Show me the verse in the Quran that says it's abrogated. Go ahead. Ah, there's no verse in the Quran. Again, you ah, have to so you take the hadith, hadith over the Quran then. <laughs> you are just fooling yourself, my friend. I, you know, I like you. You're a nice man. But you are just trying to defend with, with no defense. You are just saying eh, anything. Uh, because it, either you take the Quran or you take the hadith. And everything in the hadith contradicts the Quran anyway because Muhammad is your God. It's not the Quran. Yeah, this doesn't make... Uh... If a child, he die, where he go? If an infant, he die? If an infant, he dies, he will... Again, if you if you look at the destiny, means it, where, where, what he was destined to do then in this case. To what okay uh, people they go hell. to hell and to heaven is that because of their sin or it's because of the destiny do i go to hell because of my sin or i go to hell because of my destiny no as per as per this hadith then then it looks like uh, as per your destiny exactly because you're going as per and here there's a story but, but of a child I, listen there's a child he's an infant he is a son of a muslim family born of a muslim family even your prophet said that every child is born as a Muslim, correct? Correct. Okay. When Aisha and Muhammad, they went to attend the funeral of this child who is a Muslim, Aisha, she said, this baby will be a bird from the birds of paradise. This is what the normal people will say. And I will agree. Children, why they will go to hell? It doesn't make sense. They did not do anything. They don't understand anything. Muhammad, he says, no. It might be otherwise. Why? Because Allah, He created who go to paradise when they are in the backbone of their father. And He created who will go to the hell when they are in the backbone of their father. So it doesn't matter if you commit sin or not. So Muhammad is confirming that even the infant who never commit a sin, and even Ayesha, she said, he has reached, he has not reached the age, he commit no sin. Ayesha, she's saying, this child, he did not commit any sin. He did not even reach the age of somebody who can commit sin, which means he's a baby, infant. So Muhammad says, Ayesha, per adventure, it might be otherwise, which means he might be a bird from the birds of hell. Because God, Allah, created for paradise who is fit for it while they were in their father backbone. And he created for hell those who they are will go to hell. So my friend, your religion is a fraud. It's against justice, which means it's against God. And now people will go to hell, not because they commit any sin. Here we go, this is an infant. Just because this God, when he created him, he says, this baby, go to hell. This baby go to heaven. This baby go. So when you are, you and me, before we are created, before we come to existence, according to your false prophet, Allah, he decides who will go to hell, who will go to heaven. So what the point of judgment day? What the point of religion anyway? What the point of God anyway? This guy is making fun of us. So he created me to go to hell. That's it. He decide before even I do anything, he go to hell. And this is an infant of a Muslim family. He's not even an infant of a Christian family. He commit no sin. He did not reach the age of sin. And now this God, according to Muhammad, he might send him to hell. Why? Because he decided before he created him. So my friend, Abdul Mumin, I invite you to leave Islam immediately. Are you really convinced with this, Abdul Mumin? Be honest with me. Is this also mentioned in the Quran? Well, you see, you Muslim, you take the Quran from Muhammad. Why you don't take what Muhammad said? In the Quran, I just showed you the verse. Anything happened to you is from Allah. Even the bad things is no, from Allah. No, like, see, what, what you're saying makes sense here. What I can understand what you're saying. You really have a point here. But, you know, 
when when we discuss this inside our mosque we we raise these points with our uh, sheikhs here and they tell us that you know the, these are hadith you have to compare it with the quran and see but again you showed me another point regarding the muta so um i'm confused now my friend all of you are muslims you want when you say i'm a muslim it's mean you believe in in certain things and one of them is called al qadar correct Sorry, what is that? You believe in the pillars of Islam. You believe in the pillars of faith. You believe in those things, don't you? Correct. Okay. Do you believe in Al Qadar, which means destiny? Al Qadar. Is it the Quran in chapter of Al Qamar, verse number forty-nine says, "Everything we created by destiny." Just one second, please, sir. Huh? Hmm. My phone is dying just one second. I'm just putting on a charger. Well, your phone is dying and your faith is dying too. Just wait, you will leave Islam by the end of the day. You think so? Oh, yeah. No, my faith is strong. Yeah, I can tell. You just said I'm confused. <laughs> yeah, you confused me and left me now. So well, you are confused not because of me, I you are confused because of Allah's words and His Prophet's words. None of them make sense. Okay, there I put the charger and not charging. So, okay. yeah. So it it doesn't make sense when we look at it like this. Yeah, I admit it doesn't make sense because how can a child go to how can an infant? Hmm. It says like an infant here. Do you believe by the will of Allah? Not let let, let me make it simple for you. Do you believe because Allah allow you to believe, or because Allah give you freedom to believe? Do you need permission from Allah to believe? Do I believe if do you, well, you, do you need the permission more? from Allah to believe in Allah? Yes, you do. You need the permission to believe in Allah. Unless you are, yeah, if not, he, it, it's, it's mentioned in the Quran. Not that we uh, for for not everybody can uh, believe in Allah. There are certain people where He's hardened their ears and hardened their hearts. Okay, thank you. Cannot Allah. hear. Or now you just see. answer yourself. You just said. That Allah is the one who sealed their heart, sealed their eyes, sealed their hearing, correct? Yeah, the ones who have disease in the heart. No, 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 hold on. Who is the one who makes somebody not to believe is Allah. How? He sealed their hearing, he sealed their eyes, he sealed their heart. Do you agree? Yeah, because he's God, man. He knows what that person Thank is going you. to be. He but knows that's the, mean. But it's uh, my fault if Allah he sealed. Hold right? on. If Allah sealed my heart, and now because my heart is sealed, I cannot believe, because I need the permission to believe. Correct. Yeah. So you are destined to go to heaven. So it's not, not my fault to then. To the then it's not my fault. No, no. This is not about permission to go to heaven. It's not your fault. He knows you. He knows you very well, so he's already destined you to go to hell. That's so false. That's where you're that's, going. That's false. If he know me, why he don't let you me? Hold on, hold on, hold on. You uh, mean to say you know uh, you're going to go on, to heaven friend, and God friend. is wrong? He know me, he don't know me. That will not change anything. Let us say I have 10 kids. I know two or three of them, they are very bad. But I'm not going to seal their heart so they will not listen to me. I'm not going to buy, put a cotton in their ears so they will not hear me. I'm not going to put uh, uh, folders over their eyes so they can't see me. If I do that, that's mean I am doing it to them. They are not doing it to me. So when Allah is the one is sealing their heart, that is a destiny. Allah, he sealed their eyes so they can't see. Why they are blind? They can't see because Allah, he made them don't see. It's not because they choose to see or not. Yeah, that's the difference, isn't it? No. That's the difference. No, no. Because yeah, now, see, for, because for, now for you see, you, you see, I mentioned to you that Jesus says, not everyone says to me, God, God will enter the kingdom of my father, which means many of us will enter. But the one who do, who is going to be the one, the chosen one from those who say God, God, is those who do his will. So he have a will and we have to agree with his will, not to be forced to hear. I cannot even agree with his will because Allah, he sealed my eyes. He sealed my hearing, he sealed my heart, and now you are asking me to believe. That's stupid. 
I so ask you, he, you as a human being, you, no, you I, don't I'm know a human being. This is why but you should God help me, not, not the opposite. Enough, I am a human being, not God. So God should help me not to make it impossible for me. Now it's impossible because what is left? He sealed my hearing, he sealed my heart, he sealed my eyes, and now asking me to believe. Yeah, because you wouldn't believe anyway. That's how why. you know. Leave, leave me, leave me for my Because son. you're the living proof. So, of listen, it. listen. You are you saying are you will not believe TV. anyway. So why he is seeing their heart? They will not believe anyway. Okay, what is the chance? Listen, okay, listen, listen. I have a question for you. Let us say, let us say you are a bad person. Is it true that there is many bad people that repent and they become good people? Correct. All right. So how that will work in repentance? Because Allah hasn't sealed their hearts. He's given them a chance. What do you mean he's seen the heart? He, he is the one who sees our heart. <laughs> My friend, yeah, even, so, so. even the criminals, this is a lie. This is a false statement. Even the criminals, they repent and they ask God for yes. forgiveness. So when you say Correct. that God, he made them blind and then he complained why they don't believe. And then we showed you that Allah is the one who mistreated them. I asked you, do you need the permission from Allah to believe? You said yes. Yes. Why I need the permission from Allah to believe? It's his decision. He controls everything. Exactly. So it's not your decision. It's a destiny. It's not. It's not your decision at exactly. all. Exactly. So you must then believe. This he is knows who's going to This is why the child, the child, he is a baby, he will go to hell. Yeah, because he knows that uh, that child was destined for hell. How do you know that it's, he is a child? He's dying. He died as a child. He did not grow to yeah, commit that's sin. Do you, are you saying to me you will punish somebody for no sin he commit? He died. He died as a baby. Yeah, that that is the confusing part for me actually. My friend, the baby don't, part. don't you believe in justice? I do. Okay, is it justice that I will send a baby to hell for no sin he commit? And he is a Muslim baby. No, it's not just. No, it doesn't seem right. Doesn't seem right. Islam is doesn't seem right, right too. Nothing is right in this religion. I need to take this up and uh, I I will I will I will uh, take this up and see what what is because why we don't do really this, me and you. You said to me, my sheikh, my sheikh, my sheikh. I am willing to stay with you for mm. the coming few hours if you wish. If you can call your sheikh to join us, what do you think? Uh, they they don't uh, they don't they don't uh, encourage us to you know speak with any other Christians actually. Do you know why they don't, they don't encourage you? People will. Do you know why they don't encourage you? Because they are coward. They know they cannot refute. They will lose their career. No, what they tell us what they tell us is different. They tell us that uh, you know that, uh, that we are told that you 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 have already uh, corrupted your books. So if you've corrupted your book, well, then you... I just you showed you the Quran different. says, okay, where the Quran says we corrupted our book? It's you Muslim who corrupt the book. If I ask you right now, what is the first chapter was given to Muhammad? What you will say? Uh, I have no idea. Isn't it the one it says to him? But, uh, I, I know that there is a... Read. There is an order of revelation and there's an order of... Yeah, uh, okay. So... The angel, he came to Muhammad. The first thing he said to him, he said to him, read, correct? Correct. Okay, what is the first chapter in the Quran now? Al-Fatiha. So who is the one who corrupt the book? You. Yeah, this is not corrupt. No, this is, the, no, the this is corrupt. The, same, the Quran the says, listen, listen. The Quran says those who change the words from their location is corrupting the book. Read with me. Which, uh, which was that? Uh, you see, this is this is why you don't you should invite your sheikh so he can be, he can look so bad for you. You don't look. You know, I mean, for you, you are not a sheikh, so it's okay. But the Quran says those who change words from their location, they are corrupting the book. Here we go, chapter four, verse number forty-six. And the Muslims speaking here about the Quran speak about the Jews. What they do, they change the word from their location and mawadihi. Your translation, the one you choose from here, let's see, this is Biktal. Yeah, this is Biktal. Saying from their context, but in Arabic it says from their location. Yeah. And what happened here? Context. One Jew, he put his finger over a verse. He did not change it even. He just put the finger 
over the verse about stoning to death in the Old Testament. Muhammad is accusing them that they change the words from their location and that is a corruption. But he did not change the book because later we see Muhammad swearing by the same book. He took an oath. So as you see, the one who changed words from their location, he is doing corruption according to the Quran. If you change the translator, this is big time. Let us go to the front idiot. Hilali and Khan. You will oh, see. That's, uh, Hilali and Khan. He has go. too much of... Among those who are Jews... Brackets. I call him the bracket man. There are some who displace words from their right places. Do you see it? Displace. No, what they do? They displace words from their right places. Among those who are the Jews, there are some who displace hmm. words from their right places. Okay. So this say, is corruption. The one who changed place, uh, words from their places is a corruption. This is what you Muslim did. We hear your word. You change words, you change chapters, you change sentence, you change everything. As an example, if you go in the Quran, there's a verse in the Quran. Which I think it's about the twisting of uh, the twisting of the verses. Mm. What? I think this is more to do with the twisting of verses. They are taking it, interpreting, interpreting it in whatever would suit them. Like for example, the Quran verse when you take it, you interpret it in a way, but a, 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 a Sheikh they interpret it in a different. I'm way. I'm not interrupting, so, my friend. I can uh -huh. show you the interpretation by Muslims. I'm, I'm I'm not going to give interpretation of my own. If I give you my own interpretation, okay. you will die laughing. Listen, the last thing Muhammad he said before he died, today I choose for you Islam as a religion. Complete my favor upon you, according to Muhammad, Allah saying that. Do you agree with this statement before he died? This day, this day, I completed, I have perfected your religion for you, completed my favor upon you, and have chosen for you Islam as your religion. This is the last statement Muhammad he said before he died. Do you agree with it? Uh, where is it mentioned before he died? It mentioned that before he died. So it's not before he died. This day I perfected your religion. I'm asking you. This is before he, my favor is it before he died, you? or is this is long before he died? This day, those who have disbelieved have given up all hope of your religion. So fear them not, but fear me. This day, I have perfected your religion for you, completed my favor. So, but this is Allah talking to Muhammad, no? Exactly. But does it say today, this day? It says that, that this day. Yes. Okay, this day what happened? This day I have perfected your religion for you. Okay, so completed Islam is became perfect, favor, right? Islam um, now completed. Islam as a religion, perfected. Everything they need to know about Islam is ready, done. Correct? Yeah, this is Allah's word to Muhammad. No day. problem. That makes even more horrible. So today Islam is perfect. Today Islam is completed. Today Islam is a chosen for you. Do we agree with this? Yes. But this verse can be true only if this is the last verse in the Quran. CD, my, my, my phone might disconnect. I'm having a problem with my charger. No problem. Here. You can listen to me later. And uh, uh, thank you for calling. I advise you to bring your sheikh to call me. We join you. I will come him. I will. I promise you I will be nice Definitely. to him. Definitely. All right. But I Definitely. want you to listen to I, me after will, we finish. I will do this. Yeah, your phone is dying and your faith is dying. And soon you will leave Islam and you will see. But as you see here, you can hang up if you want. As you see, if this is really the last, this is, can be true only if it's the last verse in the Quran. Somebody took it, put it here. Yes. For there's no way, because if this is true, that this verse is in the correct location, then all the chapters after this point is a fraud. For Islam is completed. And this is a chapter 5. This is a chapter 5. Verse number three, that's mean we have all the Quran, 99% of the Quran is a fraud. For Islam is perfect. But as for the order you. of revelation, huh? 
But what verse is this? What what chapter is this as per the order of revelation? I don't care. You see, you Muslims, who gave you the right to move a verse to this place which make no sense? If you Muslims, you claim that you preserved your book as your prophet said, how in the world the end of the movie became in the beginning? Who order you, who allow you to cut the movie from the end and put it in the beginning? This is a true, like now I'm done. I say thank you guys for everybody. I hope today you have a good time. But I cannot say that in, in the first five minutes of, of I start, unless my video is five minutes. And then I stay after that for three, four hours, five hours talking. When in the beginning I said thank you guys for listening and bye-bye. This is bye-bye. This is Muhammad saying bye-bye. This is, can be true only if he is dying. And this is the last revelation he received from his false god. Today, it's about timing, not this month, today, this day. I what? I did perfect in your religion. It's, everything is perfect. Nothing is missing. And to make it even more horrible, completed. It's complete. Jesus, he said, it's completed in the cross. Not in the first day. In the cross. If we say it in the beginning, but does it make sense? In the cross, now he is crucified. And then he died. And before he died, he said, it's completed. Makes sense. This is a great proof that the Quran is a book of fabrication. It does not even exist. It's a collection of stories. We do not know who put them together. You Muslims have no authentic source. You don't have a single copy of the Quran. You don't have a single manuscript. There's one manuscript found in the in the University of uh, in England. I forgot the name of the university. It was a gift from a Christian priest. The leather go back to the before the time of Muhammad, but the, what is written there is not the same as the Quran. Just one single manuscript, and the Muslim they make a big noise about it. We have tens of thousands of manuscript around the world in many languages. And yet the Muslim, they lie and they say, we have no book. And then their Quran says, confirming what is with them. And then we go to the Quran, we find the Quran is silly, is funny, is stupid. So my friend, Abdul Mu'min, I invite you to leave Islam immediately. For you might die today and your soul will be take, or taken from you. And forgiveness is not a choice always. Forgiveness after you die, there's no forgiveness. So this is a religion of a fraud. Everything there is contradiction. The Quran itself says, if this is a book made by other than Allah, you will find in it a lot of contradiction. So the Quran itself failed the test of Allah, which is a silly test, by the way, because I have many books, wrote myself, and have zero contradiction. Doesn't mean I'm God. It's a silly challenge. So I advise you to leave Islam immediately, or you might go to sleep and you don't wake up. And Jesus, the mighty Lord, will come. The almighty God, he will come to you in the day of judgment. And he will say to you, did you speak to Christian Prince? Did he say to you, believe in me? Did you hang up and say no? What say you, Abdul Mu'min? Do you want to believe? Abdul Mumin? Yes, yes, I'm here. Do you want Sorry, to believe? Sorry, I'm having a problem with my chargers going on and off. Oh, okay. Do you want to leave Islam, my Sorry, friend? Um, not today. Not today. Tomorrow is I good. Have to, I have to check certain things with my shake over here and uh, definitely i'm going to speak with them and try to uh, come to speak with you but uh, uh abdul Mumin, abdul Mumin, problem, just to show you how sure i am is... just to show you how sure i am and how 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 unbrave they are and they knew they are fraud tell them this guy he offer a respected challenge we okay. can make you yourself a moderator between us 
You as a Muslim, okay. they can come to debate me. And you can switch the microphone between us. There's no time. Crossfire. But just to cool it down in case things go out of control, I will make you a moderator. What do you say? I don't accept uh, moderator, by the way, usually. That. I don't accept moderator because no, I, I, I will I check with these people. Yes. Yeah. So bring them. I, I, stay, I stay in the. Go ahead. I stay. I stay in a country which you know it is very. I stay in Saudi Arabia, so, so it's a it's a it's a it's a very. No problem. Uh, I mean, you are not doing anything. You are talk. just you are asking them. Don't say anything in front of them. Just tell them debate this guy, prove him wrong. Okay. And as long as you stay Saudi Arabia, that's mean they they can bring somebody who speak Arabic. That even would be even easier for me. Okay. All right. So tell them this guy is a challenging loud and clear. That not a single sheikh dare to come and debate him. If they can make a victory, they will make a victory for Allah. Why they will not do it? If they refuse to do it, it means they knew that they have the weakness. They have false God. They have false prophet. They have false books. And they don't want to face the truth. For the truth will defeat them. No, definitely they will come. I will. I will speak with them. And I All right. Will I will. Be, I will take. Them. I will take your word for granted then that Mr. Abdul Mumin, soon he will invite his sheikhs, and he says definitely they will come. We heard him. So let us see how definitely work. I will give you a few day, a few days to come come back to me. I go live always every like a day and two or something. So anytime Abdul Mumin, you can call me, and tell me I have a sheikh with me. I will be happy to have them. Inshallah. All right. Thank you, my friend. Thank you for calling. You are a nice person. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Thanks. Let us pray for our friend, Abdul Mu'min, that he will see the truth and the truth will set him free. And let us pray that the sheikhs, they will accept to come. And if they have faith, there's no reason for them not to come. You see, as you see, we spoke all this time. We have nice conversation. We would do the same. I, I you know, I, I, I humiliate a person if only he is rude, he's filthy. As long you are, you know, being a good person, you are more than welcome. I will speak for you to, for hours until you give up yourself, until your phone die or you die. So as you see, Islam is a false cult. And this is what we prove every day. So I want to say to you all, thank you for being here. I hope today we have a good time together. We learn something good so we can teach something good to others. Remember always that what you learn here is not just for you. So you might share with your friends, your family, so you can teach them, educate them. This is not a dish you eat in a restaurant and then you poop in a bathroom. This is knowledge will stay for you, with you for the rest of your life. It's a priceless knowledge. You will know how valuable it is only when you need it. You see, human being, today he can light a fire by a, a little tiny matches. Long time ago, human being, he spent hours and hours trying to make a fire. A lot of work. But fire can be started by a match. And we are giving you the matches for good fire to warm your heart, to show you the truth, so the truth will set you free. Thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you. Join us in Patreon if you care. And if you don't, it's all right. The Lord care. God is good. So is Jesus, and in him we believe. He is our might, he is our power, he is our strength, and the Quran have holes in the narrative, same as Muhammad. Thank you. The Prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan 
urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. 